welcome to the AAS section of our booth, a set admission share based smart manufacturing demo system. And it's also digital twin in smart manufacturing. Uh, this is AAS based smart manufacturing demo system. Uh, we have energy management system and, and we can see the uh, left side and the smart manufacturing system and we can see in the picture. Uh, key features of our AAS system. One set has one AAS and uh, we use AMA and OPGUA to implement AAS. Uh, AMA is applied as a common information model between cloud and OPC UA. OPC UA is implemented to realize the interoperability between EMS and SM. And this is the concept of I 4.0 component and AAS. Industrial 4.0 component include a set and the AAS of the set. This is here is robot. I4.0 component uh, is comprised object from both physical and digital world and a set is a hardware in the production system. AAS contains all asset information and the functionalities of the asset. And the AAS digitalizes the system. And then this is AAS structure. AS is composed of DF header and DF body. DF is digital factory in IEC standard. In DF header and DF body contains different informations. And here we can see the AS include five sub models. And this is the robot AS. This is robot robot AS information. DF header, identification of the set and AS. In DF, DF body, we have some model one, index data atom, some model two, property, some model three, documentation, include configuration, runtime, and life cycle data of the robot. And in some model four, is communication. This robot has one communication interface. And in some model five, pick and place, it's the function of the robot. And we see the motor AAS. AAS of the motor, also DF header and DF body. Some model one, some model two, property, some model three, documentation, configuration, runtime, life cycle, and some, we can see some model five, energy efficiency, include the speed control of the robot, of the motor and the power consumption of the motor. Okay. Shown in the title, this is the system of artificial intelligence-based energy management in smart manufacturing developed by Hanyang University and Nest Field Company. In the cloud, an AI-based demand response algorithm was developed to manage the energy consumption of six lamps and six motors. Here is an OPC AML platform on the Linux board, and between the AI algorithm and the OPC server, the automation ML is applied as a common information model to exchange the data. In the field layer, there are two different subsystems, Wilde's Heart Lightning Control and TSN Motor Control. Because Wilde's Heart and TSN, these two are different protocols. OPC UA is implemented to realize interoperability among the cloud and these two subsystems. Then this is the web UI on the cloud. The grid line is the electricity price received from the smart grid, and based on the price, the AI algorithm will control the field devices. The first chart shows the energy consumption of six lamps, 
and the second chart shows the energy consumption of six motors. We can see that when the prices are high, the power consumption is low. When the prices are low, the power consumption is high. These two tables show the information of six lamps and six motors. These devices are divided into three categories, including non-shiftable, controllable, and shiftable. For the non-shiftable devices, the power consumption cannot change. For the controllable devices, they can work at different operating states. For the shiftable devices, they can work on and off. This is the AI algorithm setup. We use the reinforcement learning framework. Thus, in the system, AI algorithm is the agent, and the six lamps and the six motors are the environment. Uh, 저희 시스템을 보시면 두 대의 로봇과 두 대의 컨베어 벨트가 있습니다. 두 대의 컨베어 벨트의 경우 파워 링크를 통해서 PLC 장비에서 데이터 통신이 이루어지고 있습니다. 두 대의 로봇의 경우 TSN을 통해 로봇 컨트롤러에서 데이터 통신이 이루어지고 있습니다. 그러나 두 대의 컨베어 벨트와 로봇은 서로 다른 네트워크 통신을 이용하기 때문에 서로 통신이 불가능합니다. 때문에 컨베어 벨트의 정보를 인포메이션화 시켜 OPCA를 통해 로봇과 데이터를 주고받고 있습니다. PLC 장비에는 OPC UA 서버가 들어있어 컨베이어 관련 정보가 인포메이션화 되어 있습니다. 로봇에 대한 정보들은 로봇 컨트롤러에서 OPC UA 서버가 들어있어 정보를 관리하게 됩니다. 또한 유네스 2000이라는 플랫폼을 통해서 각각에 대한 제이터를 전송하고 로봇에서 필요한 정보는 OPC UA를 통해 컨베이어의 정보를 받을 수가 있습니다. 또 각각의 인포메이션 모델들은 유네스 2000에서 오토메이션 ML이라는 정보 모델로 재정이 되어 클라우드에 데이터를 전송하게 됩니다. 어, 또 전송된 데이터는 다음과 같이 UI 화면에 나타나게 됩니다. UI 첫 번째 화면은 이 시스템의 전체적인 동작 단계를 나타냅니다. 두 번째 화면은 로봇 1과 로봇 2의 좌표 각과 모터 각도를 나타냅니다. 다음과 같이 로봇 2가 동작 중일 때 화면과 같이 로봇 데이터 2가 변하는 모습을 확인할 수 있습니다. 다음으로 TSN 시스템에 관해서 기본적인 것들을 설명드리겠습니다. 다음 화면은 TSN의 표준 아키텍처를 참조하여 구현된 TSN 시스템입니다. TSN 시스템은 다음과 같이 어, CUC, CNC 두 대의 스위치와 로봇 컨트롤러 로봇으로 나뉠 수가 있습니다. CUC는 Central User Configuration을 나타내며 로봇 컨트롤러로부터 트래픽에 필요한 정보를 얻어 CNC에 전송하게 됩니다. CNC는 Central Network Configuration을 의미하며 CNC에서 실제로 데이터를 전송하는 데 필요한 네트워크의 스케줄을 계산하는 역할을 합니다. 예를 들어 로봇 컨트롤러는 제어 명령을 TSN 스위치를 통해 로봇에게 전달되고 CNC에서 TSN 데이터를 전달하는 데 필요한 스케줄링을 계산하게 됩니다. 옆쪽의 경우 유팅 연구원이 소개를 드리겠습니다. Now I will introduce the robot control subsystem. As the title says, the robot control subsystem is based on TSN time sensitive light working. Time sensitive light working is called the next generation of EAT light standard. Actually, it is a set of 12 substandards. Among these substandards, three are most important. The first one is time synchronization. All these devices will be synchronized to a global time. And the second one is based on the synchronized time. The switches and end devices can schedule the control traffic. The third one is central management. From here to here, match the end devices, and from here to here, match the network. The main characteristics of time-sensitive networking are guaranteed the actual low latency, and uh, it can support IT traffic and OT control traffic in one network. The third one is that TSN is truly open standard. 
in a standard Tyson system, we have CUC, CNC, Tyson switches, and end devices. In our system, the function of CUC is to obtain traffic specification from the robot controller, and then it will send the traffic specification to the central network configuration. And here, the traffic schedule for the whole system is calculated. The CNC will send back part schedule information to the CUC. The CUC will use the schedule information to configure the these TSM modulus. The role of TSM switches is to schedule and forward traffic. And in our system, to show the difference between time-sensitive light working and standard ED light, we use a traffic generator. The role of the traffic generator is to generate huge amount of invited traffic to saturate this trunk link. Next, I will operate this subsystem. First, I will introduce our UI user interface. Now it is ordinary mode, which means it is standard internet mode. We can see the video is displaying very well, and the robot is working very well. Now I will turn on the traffic generator. We can see the real-time network bandwidth utilization rate becomes very high. Now we can see the video is frozen and the robot stops working. Next, I will change the network mode to TSM mode. First, I will turn off the traffic generator. Now the network mode is TSM mode. We can see the now the network utilization rate is very low. The video is displaying very well and the robot is working very well. Now I will turn on the traffic generator. Current network bandwidth utilization rate becomes very high. We can see the video is frozen. But the operation of robot is very well. From this demo, we already showed the advantage of time-sensitive networking and time-sensitive networking is very suitable for smart manufacturing.